Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. We are off quarantine. 17 days are complete as per government rules. We had disinfected our home by fumigation process. Before starting fumigation, they had asked us to be out of the house and after it's complete, we shouldn't enter for at least 30 minutes. We anyway got back in after an hour. It's been so long since I wanted to do some gardening. My husband being COVID positive and being on a very busy schedule, I couldn't work on that. Finally did some up to my satisfaction. I had seen a type of money plant having humongous leaves and I had seen it growing on big trees. Got a small piece of the same money plant. Now I wouldn't want to grow it on a tree. Instead, I would love to see it growing in a pot with those big leaves. You must have seen me planting it in a big white pot in another vlog. And I placed a long stick with jute rope wrapped around a pipe and kept that in the soil for support for the money plant. That's growing really well now. Same way, this is another plant which my aunt, my mom's sister had given me some time back. I had placed this in a pot filled with water on my dining table and you would have seen those in my earlier vlogs. I knew this plant can really do well and will just grow with those lush, shiny green leaves. The growth I saw after placing in water was not that great. This plant again needs very less care. I wanted to grow it the same way I planted the money plant because I have seen it growing vast in many houses. And this again, if given support, would climb and grow well. So I again wrapped a jute rope on a pipe and placed it in the pot. Actually, it's better to place a support first and then place a plant. But since this was already doing well in the soil, I didn't want to take it out and destroy the look. I slowly placed the stick just a little away from the center so that the roots are not damaged. Now to the most requested part. In my previous quarantine day in our life vlog, I had spoken about our automatic gate and a little about the security system in our house. The same team Leo had fixed a waste disposal system in our kitchen. And I had shown a glimpse of that. So many of you wanted to know about it. In fact, many of you got surprised seeing me dump the waste through the kitchen sink. Now waste disposal is something I felt very difficult to manage being in Kerala. I used to keep a small waste bucket on my kitchen counter which I felt really untidy because the sink and my stove is close to each other and due to lack of space, I couldn't place it elsewhere. And when the bucket gets filled with waste, we throw it below a tree. But due to dumping the waste on a particular place, that area would smell really bad, the plants nearby would decay really soon and so many other issues. That way we got the best solution from Leo on the waste disposal. They place a heavy duty grinding mortar below your sink and you can put all your food waste, be it wedge or non wedge pass it through the sink. All you need to do is turn on your tap, switch on the mortar and start pushing the waste through the hole with a device that comes along with this machine. It's like a plastic stick to push the waste. The waste goes into the mortar and it grinds to a liquid consistency. Now there's an option that you can either take the waste and use it as a fertilizer for your plants or just leave it as such, it would be going under the soil the normal way. That's up to you. I shall provide their contact details below in the description box. We have very lovely climate in Kerala now. It's monsoon and the rain actually brings a feel of relaxation. The wet grass, the droplets of water on the leaves, everything changes your mood in a positive way. I know it's kind of boring sometimes, but I love to put greenery and rain on my Instagram stories. It makes me feel happy to post such relaxing stories, be it the same for others or not.
having hot breakfast on a cool weather not only fills up your stomach but also satisfies your soul. We wanted to change the color of the pots that was placed on the compound fence. The black pot and the plant with dark colored leaves didn't go well for a good look. So I either wanted to change the plants kept in it or give a change in the pot color. On this day after having a good breakfast, me and my husband got out to the plant nurseries nearby to get some pots. On the way, we got to see this shop with lots of colorful pots hanging outside. We weren't looking for multicolors, but just one single color that's white which would match to our house. Some pots look like buckets and hence we had to ignore it. Anyway, we got pots of white color of the same size we have at home. And then moved to buy few plants. Many of you keep asking me tips for growing money plant. I don't have secret tips I follow. All I do is just water the plant when the soil is dry. This plant needs the least care and I guess that's why it's growing well for me. When the plant has grown well, I take few cuttings from the node where the roots are growing, either place it in water, wait for the roots to come and then transfer to the soil, or sometimes I plant it as such in the same soil. If you have been watching vlogs from my parents home you would have seen that my mom has lots of plants Every time I am in my parents home I tell my mom I need few cuttings from your plants and when I come back I forget to take them Finally went there again and my mom gave me whatever she had My mom have a beautiful garden and she loves plants. Even my mom's sisters have very pretty gardens. I shall show you when I go there next time. Later in the evening, I started working in the garden. My husband loves to help me in this, but sometimes I need to push him to join me. He is the greatest support for me in my work and at the same time doesn't interfere unnecessarily. We had these plants that was drying out and not doing well. I guess it was because of the pot and the soil it was kept in. After our balcony, this is my favorite area. It's an area from our dining hall. Normally, I don't open the doors from the dining room unless we have our full family joining us. So here it was plain, hence decided to put some plants here. Before going to the nursery, we had decided to buy plants to be kept in certain pots. So in these two pots, we anyway had bought two other plants.
These are two plants we will be placing in these pots. White pots are really pretty and is even more when growing plants. Making use of these black pots to place plants I brought from my mom. These thick branches from the Moringa tree was lying around. I kept few thin branches to do some craft work, I'll be doing that later. These were thick ones, so I thought I'll make use of it to wrap coir rope, which is again good for the plants to climb. I brought few climber plants from my mom, had ordered few coconut coir ropes from Amazon, which my mom suggested. So I wrapped two thick branches with the rope and it looked really pretty and natural. But later that night, when I had a phone call with my mom, she told me that it would be a blunder if I used that branch. It can decay later in the soil and it would be double work for me to again wrap the coir on another stick and again place it in the soil. And by that time, the plant would have grown well. Mom asked me to wrap around pipes, which is the best option. Also, I had done a little research to know about the fact and got to know that it's better to use a PVC pipe or a bamboo branch which can stay for long. We have these pipes left from some housework, so I can make use of those. The pipe was one long piece, had to cut it in needed length. Had to unwrap all these. These pots are not of great look. The black color has faded a bit. Maybe later I could give a paint. These days Arman is less inside and more on his cycle. He loves to ride cycle and thankfully we have this large space to walk, run and play.
and the final purchase was a bit of artificial grass and a big white pot for placing Buddha bamboo. The grass we have spread outside is not natural. It's artificial as maintaining natural grass was a bit challenging. So that's all for today's vlog. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope you all are staying safe. Take care. Bye-bye.